In this week's video tech tip, we're going to talk about a great feature in Sketch Pictures, the auto scaling. So let's take a look at how to use it and what it can do for us in this week's video tech tip. We'll start by creating a new sketch in this part. We want to show you this tip from the very beginning. And I will use the search commands to find sketch picture. When I click on the command, I need to browse out and find the JPEG. I'll choose the high resolution version of it. And we'll bring this in and I'll hit F to zoom to fit this. And this blue line that you see is the auto scale feature. So I can use the left hand side to place that one point and then move this other point to place the end of it so that I can define a known length. And I know this length is 145 feet. And by just lining up that edge and keying in the length, I now have a perfectly scaled and sized picture so that now I can start working on this at true scale. So what I have here is a random house survey so I can start to trace this if I wanted to recreate a exact floor plan or imagine taking an image of something and tracing around it to make a consumer product, for example. In this example, a useful exercise might be to get the square footage of this nice driveway here. So I can use this blind tool to trace around this. Again, being sure that everything is the appropriate length because I use the auto scale feature. All it takes is lining up an end point with a starting point and keying in that known length and you can work on a one-to-one -one scale of your pictures using this feature. It has been around for a couple of years and it's one of my favorite tips to share with our clients. So we'll jump ahead here and take a measurement of that and I'll know exactly how much square footage this has. So it's a useful tool to use. It's the auto scale feature of sketch pictures.